Don't you just love dice? The different shapes, big, small and all sizes in between. Let's not use those, but let's go back to basics with simple shapes and cardstock because simple is actually really cool. Using just the basic paper craft supplies and color, lots of color, is a great place to start. So let's get to it. I'm going to use the stacked circles and squares and I'm going to cut the shapes in a bunch of different colors. For me, ideas spark more ideas, so having a bunch of them to move around will work great. I started simple with a few circles and a sentiment and about this right background. When I'm working on a video or any project really, I often get sidetracked, so that's what happened here too. I will tell you more about that later. First, uh, this one card, I used the dice for the sentiment, but you can use a printed or other sentiment too if you prefer. The next idea is really no-brainer, right? The sets are called stacked circles, so that's what I did in different colors and I added them like this on the cards. One stack, I combined the squares and circles with nice big letters for the sentiments. Easy peasy, right? One of the things I always keep in mind when buying craft supplies is how I can use them and will it work for multiple designs. I love basic shapes for dice and less seasonal ones and cardstock. Cardstock always goes. For the next card I have a bunch of tiny squares in the colors of the rainbow. Not the brightest ones, but shades with a bit more of a vintage feel. I added a magnetic ruler at an angle to my white card to keep the space open and then I fill the rest of the card with the colored squares. You can also keep some space in between each shape. I line them up against each other and then I glue them to my white card. I had a bit more space at the top so I added the colors in the opposite order like the colors are in a real double rainbow. I cut off the bits that are sticking out and now I'm going to uh, add a bunch of numbers. I cut them in black because it lifts the rest of the colors but you can pick any color you like and they fit right in and then I glue them in place. So here's the finished card, I added it to a red base and a white note card and another card with a tiny squares and space in between for a different look. So now let's get back to the strips. Someone in the community asked how can you cut strips easy when you don't have leftovers or you want a certain size. So let me show you my way. I have a piece of paper the size of the ruler at the top or bottom of the cutter or smaller. I line it up at the size I want for the strip and then just count back so I go from left to right cutting the strips off on the right side of the paper. I'm going to make a big background on an A4 size piece of printing paper. This way it's thin enough to use with die cuts. I line up the first one along the edge of the paper with double sided adhesive and then I fill the sheet with the strips completely. You can use full length strips or use just parts and of course this is a great way to use your leftover bits too. I cut the sheet into four smaller cards and then they are ready to use as backgrounds. Remember for any design you see use that what makes you happy. Just copy the complete card if you like or use elements that speak to you. For the next card I added a bunch of square dice and then I taped them in place with the less sticky tape so it comes off easy and then I run it through the machine. Then I take out the squares and peel off the tape carefully. I add a background to a white note card and then I'm going to add the squares back in place and I turn them for a fun effect. I remember as a child we always had paper to play around with. Making cards and boxes out of cardboard was one thing I liked. So it was definitely an essential part of me growing up. And all my life paper crafting came back in different ways. So what does paper or crafting or both mean to you? Make sure to tell us all about it in the comments below. This is the card base and I will come back to this one in a bit. Here's another one of the striped backgrounds that I added on a white note card. And then I add a white card with circles cut out on top. I cut those the same way with the tape so I could line them up. And here are three of the cards with the striped background so let's take a peek at the finished ones. Here's the card from the beginning and a finished one with the squares I just showed you with a big sentiment and some nouveau drops. Shapes that you cut out of one card you can use those on another card to get two for one. And sentiments big, small or printed anything goes. You see cardstock and basic shapes really rock don't you agree? Here's another video for you to watch with cardstock, dies and lots of tips and tricks. And as always, make sure to keep on crafting.